Hey, this is Jerry Feta coming at you live today with Wealth Wednesday. Okay, these are my weekly updates on my wealth building journey. Now, before we get into this, I wanna give you a special announcement, okay? So we just released our very first speaker for the In the Arena Bootcamp. If you've seen any of my videos in the last couple of days, you know who this is. If not, let me tell you, okay? So the speaker is gonna be Ivan Anz, right? Ivan Anz is the owner uh, and the founder of Philanthro Investors Equity and Help. Uh, Capitan's family office. He's got Toyota dealerships, real estate. I mean, he really is just you know a serial entrepreneur, um, and he's an Inc. 500 three-time uh, fastest-growing company of the year winner. And so Ivan's going to be talking about how he got where he's at. He's actually the youngest family office founder in the world right now. And so he'll be speaking at our event June 3rd. That's going to be 1 to 7 p.m. Eastern time. And I want to make sure you can get a ticket. You know how to grab that. That's going to be at store.jerryfeta.com. If you watch through the video, I'm gonna share with you a couple of things that Ivan and I are working on, and you've gotta stay tuned to catch what that is. Welcome back to Wealth Wednesday. So I'm giving you my weekly update this week, right? So, you know, it's been one of those times for me where I almost don't even remember what happened in the last week. If you've ever had those where you're just like, okay, it's been a week, like a lot of things happened, what, what all went on, right? So this is good for me just to kind of like figure, you know, what, what was my week like and share that with you guys, right? So right now with the company, um, you know, with Wealth Dynamics, we've really been focusing on building our Endorse Wealth Mentor team. Uh, that's one of our main projects. And so uh, we've got two really good Endorse Wealth Mentors that I've trained myself. We're adding more as we go. We've got three or four more we've recruited that are now in the training process. And uh, really the idea with, for me on the Endorse Wealth Mentor, as I talked about this before, was to create that one-on-one -on -one relationship with all my clients, right? So when I first started, my, my successful action was always direct customer service. Like I was, if anyone's ever dealt with me one-on-one, -on -one, you know the service is phenomenal, right? I, I take care of you, I'm, I, my, my attitude is great, I'm quick to respond, um, you know, anything you need, I get handled for you. And so that really is my culture, and as I grew, I brought in other people, obviously, you know, other people have their own cultures and that was not necessarily the culture of everyone else. So to be honest, when I looked at it, right, my experience this last year is rebuilding my company and I looked at, wow, okay, this is different. Okay, we don't have the same experience that I used to bring to the table. That really is something that fell out. So the Endorse Wealth Mentors is a way of us giving the client that one-on-one -on -one relationship so that they do have that experience. Right, and then that moves them through like, hey, what's your next service? What can we help you with? And that really helps the business grow from bringing clients in on new services as well. So that's been a huge focus of mine. Uh, and it's been kind of fun. I've gotten back in the field myself on doing sales, doing recruiting, doing some of the stuff that I started out with. And I guess for me, like talking about like in a rebuild phase, you've got to go back to the things that got you there. Right, like you're not going to rebuild. Like if you're trying to rebuild something right now or you're trying to build something like directly get involved with it. You can't be this ivory tower, you know, off at a distance, watching everyone else do the work and supervising, right? Like the best way to do it is lead by example and the best leaders did lead by example. They got their hands dirty, right? And so it's this, this old adage I learned of I, we, they, right? So when you're building something, that whether it's a company or a family, I do it all myself first, right? I'm gonna do it, I'm not really expecting anyone else to help out. If I've got other people, really they're in the learning phase, you know, I don't have this giant like, okay, they're gonna take over and, and win the game. I'm still gonna do that, okay? Then it moves over to we, right? We means I'm still doing it and also they can help now, right? And that's really kind of where things have been at for me in the last couple of weeks. And finally, it becomes a them where they're doing it, I'm helping them, right? Other way around, I'm still there helping, but it's them now. And so that really is what, I, what I'm trying to build out. And this is something that, you know, you really, for me, I think should look at with every area of your life is like, okay, I'm building a family, it's I, we, them. I'm building a company, it's I, we, them, right? I'm building an organization, it's I, we, them, right? So that's the first thing. The second thing that we've really been focused on is, um, you know, for us is improving our margins, right? It is a business. So I'm just gonna be upfront with you guys here. Cash flow matters, right? Cash flow means you're making profit. If you're in business and you're afraid to talk about profit and you're not making profit, you're not gonna be in business for long, right? Profit is actually senior to everything else. If you don't have profit, you can't stay in business long enough to help people. So it's great to be like, I wanna help, I wanna help, but if you can't do that profitably, right? And I used to have this thing on profit and it wasn't until I heard Zig Ziglar talk about it. And Zig was the nicest old man in the world, right? Christian guy, super Southern, you know, the, the positive vibes. And I heard Zig Ziglar say the number one thing my company cares, cares about is profit, 
right? We have to be profitable. If we can't be profitable, there's holes in the ship. We're not going to be around long enough to help people. So we're focusing on how to increase our profit by becoming more efficient with our work. So we're drilling our employees. We're looking at, okay, how do we get people better and faster at their jobs? How do we get rid of expenses that don't need to be there? How do we look for systems to automate things? Okay. And, and in a wealth building sense, like, you know, you're thinking about, okay, in a company profit, what does this look like for maybe someone that's investing? That's your passive income. That's your cash flow. Right, I borrow against my sacred account. I put that into a deal that's paying me every month. The difference that spread is my profit and I want that spread to be as good as I can get it. Right? So we're looking on, at right now doubling the profit margins in the company and really focusing on those efficiencies. Okay, and then we just released our event. I talked about this at the beginning of the video and for me this has been, you know, looking at the last six months, I realized you know, my network is not as strong as I'd like it to be. Right? I had a lot of people that you know, I was the top guy. You know, they looked up to me. They wanted to be with me. They wanted you know, time with me, benefit from me, favor from me, uh, you know, to go out and hang out with me, whatever it was. And so I wasn't really getting a lot out of those relationships. Right? And so when I look at it now, I'm like, hey, I need to be doing that with other people that are above me. So for me, this event has been great because it's people in my network that I can do that with. I want to spend more time with guys like Ivan Ants. Okay, I'm gonna give him a lot of attention. We created a great highlight reel for him and we're giving him service because that shows, hey, we're valuable. We wanna, we wanna level up to where you're at, right? And, and I think that this is important because, and it's not even unique what happened to me. Think about most people's lives, right? You're you, you've got your, your family, you've got your friends. They're either at your level or below your level. Very few of us have people that are above our level. And so the opinions we hear are either the same as ours or worse. The ideas we get are either the same as ours or worse, right? The accountability we get is either the same as what we already have for ourselves or worse. We never really have this like, let's look up and let's see what, what out there is, is different and makes us grow. Okay, and the shame of it is, is most of the time when people do look up, they tend to criticize to make sense of why this guy's here and I'm not. And so like we never actually say, okay, good, this guy's winning. This gal is winning. Like how do I get connected with them? How do I learn from them? How do I grow the way that they're growing? And that does mean that I need to spend time less with the people that are at my level or below because I'm going to go spend it with people that are higher. And so this for me has been the event, right? Really getting with, you know, high level people, one percenters in their fields and their industries and leveling my network up and, and forcing myself to grow and reach and say, okay, good, I'm going to play at a bigger level now. Okay, instead of being at the guy on top, I now want to be the guy at the bottom. I want to be working with people that are all better than I am and I'm trying to get to where they're at. Okay, I don't want to be this, you know, uh, king of my own castle and everyone else is trying to get to my level and I've got no one pulling me up to the top, right? So that's really what I've been working on and, and with that it's been, you know, a really fun experience. It is a lot of work. I'm putting in a lot of hours, probably more than I'm, I've used to before. I'm working until 10, 30, 11 p.m. at night uh, and it's just been great building and seeing the results and it put me at cause. Here's what I want to end on. It put me at cause over my destiny. Right? When you're working with a team and they're not doing the things they should be doing, which is what I had experienced before, you get discouraged. You're like, I give an order and it doesn't get followed. I have an idea and it doesn't get executed. Or maybe we put a plan together and it only gets halfway worked through and, and it's usually not everyone. It's usually one or two people that are dropping the ball and they're slow or they've got disagreement. But as a leader and even as, a, as a, one of the upstat people on the team that are doing the work, it makes you feel like I'm hitting the gas and nothing's happening. Okay, I'm putting in the work, I'm not seeing a result. So like I had to rebuild, which included stripping the wrong people out of my world, putting the right ones in. Right now my group is very small from a standpoint of we're like SEAL, SEAL Team 6. We don't have a bunch of you know, groupies and stuff. We've got a, a core group of people that want to produce. And so because I'm leading that charge and we're all putting the work in, we're seeing the fruits of our labor. There's nobody stopping us from experiencing our own results. And that's a really refreshing feeling because it makes you feel like you're at cause. I hit the, ca the gas pedal and the car actually moved. I put in the, 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 the result and the work actually, you know, it, it actually turned in what it, what it needed to, right? And so I want to encourage you in an area of your life where you're not feeling the results, I want you to find out who's, who's dragging their feet, who's dropping the ball, who's got disagreement, who's not on board. Get rid of them. I don't care if it's your spouse, your cousin, your business partner, your best friend. It doesn't matter. That person's holding you back, right? Titles don't mean anything that's nepotism, right? And instead, I want you to go get involved. The area that's not moving, go put your hands in it, get involved and you'll see it's a lot easier than that person was making it out to be. It's a lot, it's a lot more fun for you because you're seeing the result and then you can now teach someone that actually has the right attitude and is going to put the work in the way it needs to be put in so that they can help you build. 
right? So that's my update for this week. We've got some really cool stuff coming out, guys. We're developing a bunch of new programs for our clients to increase our service levels. I'm excited to talk more about those. Don't miss your ticket, right? So again, go to store.jerryfetta.com, grab your arena bootcamp ticket, it's 99 bucks. Amazing event, we just released Ivan Anz as the first speaker. We're gonna release the next one next week, which is gonna blow your mind. That's it for today's lecture, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next time.